All right, today we're going to be installing this uh, Dish Network Joey. We're going to be adding it to an existing Hopper Joey setup. Um, I picked this up on eBay for around $50, so I'm not saving a ton of money. It costs $90 for them to come and install it. Uh, so you're going to save a little bit, and you're going to have that uh, personal gratification of knowing that you installed it yourself, okay? Now, you want to protect yourself if you're buying one off Amazon or eBay because uh, basically some people sell them. They've already been registered. They've never been deactivated, so you won't be able to add it to your existing setup. All right, so if you use something like PayPal, if that were to happen, you could file a claim and probably get your money back, all right? Let's run downstairs real quick. We need to uh, add a splitter to the coaxial, and then we'll come back up and uh, hook it up and see if we can get it registered. Okay, what you're looking for is something that looks like this. Okay, this one happens to be the solo node. There are different uh, variations of this installation. So what I'm going to do is post a chart, uh, a little diagram at the end of this uh, video, in case yours looks different, okay? I'm just using a 7 16 inch wrench. You could use 11 millimeter. You could use pliers even on this, okay? And I'm disconnecting the one that says to client, uh, and the other one goes to the host, which is the actual hopper unit, okay? Then I picked up a splitter on eBay, and again, I got these right off the instructions, okay? So I went with the exact same one that they recommend, all right? So there's the splitter. cost you a couple of bucks. We're going to go in from this uh, solo node, and then we're going to split off to the two joeys, okay? It's pretty much common sense, you know, if you've ever dealt with any of this before. Um, so it's not rocket science here that we're dealing with. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it all hooked up, and then I'll pretty it up after once I know it's working. The only thing I wish I would have done is uh, that one connector is a twist-on connector. And my father-in-law actually has the crimp, the crimp set. Uh, so I'll replace that end eventually, okay? So it says out to client, and on this one, because we're splitting uh, the signal in two directions, it doesn't matter which is which. And just gonna snug that up. All right, let's run back upstairs and see if we can get the thing hooked up and activated. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually just hook it up um, like I did downstairs. I'll just hook it up and uh, get it all working and then I'll pretty it up after off the camera, okay? Everything looks new on this unit, so I'm pretty hopeful that this has not been activated. And I do have an email from the eBay uh, seller also stating that uh, it guarantees that it's not been activated, okay? So, and look, you can see it still has the uh, the packaging plastic on it, okay? So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is just hook it up again out here and then I'll pretty it up afterwards. So I'm gonna hook up my coaxial, which goes to the wall, and we just uh, completed um, adding the splitter down in my um, garage, yours may be in your basement or some other area, wherever the cable usually pulls into your home from the dish. Um, it's not gonna be too far from there. And keep in mind that uh, they don't recommend the Joey's being further than 200 feet from the hopper, and I'll have that in the, in the uh, instructions after at the end of the video, okay? Uh, we've got HDMI, I've got that plugged into my um, HDMI one port on my TV, okay? And Ethernet. My house is wired with Cat 5e. If you're building a house, I'd probably go with Cat 6, um, because you can push more uh, over it. Uh, and let's go ahead and do the power. Okay. All right, we'll start the uh, setup procedure here. All right, so the Joey's starting up, as you can see. I'm not gonna read everything on the screen. I'm just going to get to the point where I realize that it sees the hopper, and then I'll go through that registration process, and I'll check back with you at the end um, to make sure that it's working uh, and to show you that we were successful, okay? So let me go through this process. Um, all right, because it's gonna download the, the software here, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and let that finish. Um, and then we'll come back, we'll get it registered, and we'll kind of prove that it works. Okay, you can see we're making progress. Uh, now it wants to pair the remote. I'm just going to go ahead and select Next. 
Okay. And now I have to name the location. This is a family room. Hit next. Uh, and we pick our TV, 1080p. I'm going to hit uh, next. Basically, it's having me program the remote. Um, I could probably do that at a later date. I'm just going to hit save just to get you guys through this. Hit next. And I'm going to say yes. Okay, now it's checking the connectivity. Okay, and it is connected to the hopper on broadband here. Oh, it's connected to broadband uh, via the hopper. I don't know if you can see that. There's a pretty good glare right there. Okay, hit next. All right, so I was looking at this downstairs. Uh, it shows that uh, I'm communicating and uh, we have good signal, uh, but I'm unlinked. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now it says linked. And I'm going to hit save. All right, now I need to call Dish Network. I need to give them that receiver ID and that uh, smart card ID. And then they'll activate the hardware uh, and make sure that I'm getting charged uh, the $7, I'm sure. Uh, and then we should be in business. All right, let me uh, give them a call and then we'll come back and see if we have uh, connectivity. All right, so I did have to call them uh, and give them my receiver number and my smart card number. It only took like less than three minutes, okay? I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to scroll down to settings. And then I'm going to go to network setup right there. And then go to whole home. And you should see linked like that. And there's your uh, signal strength, which is actually a signal strength over your coaxial. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, you know, it's one of those things I didn't save a ton of money, but uh, just the fact that I knew I could do it myself and why have a guy come in here and try to try to sell me more products and pay 90 bucks, okay? So thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give me that thumbs up if you would right there and hit that subscribe button right there uh, if you want to see more of this type of stuff. Thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. And now right now I'm going to put some charts up on the screen, uh, the installation instructions and the diagrams, okay? Thanks for watching.